You are annoying me by coming in here and filming in a public place. You're not going to leave him out to call the police. Okay, guys, so we're here at the Montauk, New York post office. Uh, it's Saturday at about 12.15 in the afternoon. And uh, we're going to go in and see how it goes. Okay, so it looks like we have our poster seven right here, as soon as we walked in, uh, literally right next to the front door. Along with some other signage, typical stuff, you see? Uh, so that's good, they have their poster seven up. And uh, let's take a walk around. So this is postmaster's office. Post office boxes, nothing amazing to see here. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, there's some more boxes this way. So here's some priority overnight packaging, supplies and that kind of thing. The gentleman dropping off his mail right now. Dispatch hours. Can I get two books while I'm here? Mail drop. How are you, man? I'm the postmaster. Yeah. Good. How are you? Nice to meet you. Right. But we don't need any help. Thank you. Can't record it yet. Sure we can. No. Sure we can. Why? Why are you giving it? It's okay. your rules and regulations. Allow it. Okay. Cool. Would you like to take a look at your poster seven that you have hanging up by the entrance, which expressly gives me permission to videotape here? Let's go take a look at poster seven with this gentleman. Would you like to take a look at it, sir? I'll be with you in one second. Well, I'm right here. We're standing right next to the poster. I'll show you exactly what it is. I can educate you today if you like. That's what I do for a living. That's my job, man. All right. Who, who are you? Uh, well, that's not important right now. You'll know who I am eventually. Uh, but you see the section, photographs for news, advertising, commercial purposes? Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums, which you don't have. Okay. Okay, so that's your poster seven regulations. Okay, so are you okay with us filming, or is there an issue? If it's the regulations, then I don't have So that's good, so you learned something today. And we're not, not I'm not trying to demean you, honestly, but that's, that's what we do. What are you doing here? This is a pro get out of here. Well, if you want to engage me, sir, what is your what's what's the issue? Uh, this is the postmaster I'm speaking to, and according to United States Postal Service regulations, filming inside of the lobby is allowed, expressly allowed. Don't use my face in this thing. I don't you weren't in it face. until you just called me. Well, I'm telling you, don't use my face. Well, you can't. You don't have a right to tell me that. And if you don't want to be in a video, it's bad logic to approach a videographer and call me, and draw attention to yourself. You weren't in the video. It has nothing to do with you. You brought this. You brought it to yourself. You're annoying me. Yeah. You're you're actually annoying me. I was actually in a conversation with the postmaster that you me. just disrupted. You are annoying me. That's fine. You actually disrupted. This is my job, and you actually just disrupted a private conversation I was having with the postmaster of this facility. 
So you might want to use better logic next time. You're insulting me, buddy. And you're not insulting me? What, it's only a one-way street for you? You have to think before you speak. Oh, shut your mouth. Oh, you, buddy? That's not insulting Don't at all. Don't antagonize me. Come on, Please. Now, there's no need for that. Get that camera out of my face, will you? No, you're, you, now you're the story. Story was on the post office. Now it's on you. And how rude people can be in a public environment. This is a public building. You're in public. If you want to be in a private situation, go home. Close, go scratch close your blinds. Go scratch. Close your blinds, hug each other, and drink more Kool-Aid, and you'll be fine. Don't come out into public if you don't want to be seen. You addressed me, sir. I'm minding my business. You should do the same. Stay in your own lane, bro. They'll serve you good in life. You should know better at your age. Are you crazy? Am I crazy? Are you crazy? I don't think so. No You're one's ever insulting the hell out of me. You are annoying me by coming in here and b filming in a public place where you, you don't have a right to Which do the, that. Which the postmaster just oh, actually right. gave me permission. You don't have a right to come in here The and postmaster just, just gave me permission. It's right here on the wall. Would you like to educate yourself or would you like to celebrate your ignorance? There you go. Smartest thing you said all day, old man. Yes. I mean, you're going to be on to go back over by the postmaster's office here uh, see if he's still available really grinded and hurt right. but she's playing uh she's down at pr playing golf trying to get this post office up and running we're trying yeah i'm actually a journalist working on content for a story hey, so we're good. we're uh we're aware of the issues that have you guys been having out here Time? You happy with the no. service? Any issues? Uh, what are you kidding? Yeah, well, it's a joke, right? So, all summer long, my mail is going to somebody else. Oh, so it actually gets delivered to the wrong address? Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. All, all, all the time. Okay. To a point where I had to actually tell them, stop delivering my mail, I'll pick it up. Is that run with too much mail in the summertime? Or? I think it's apathy. Apathy? <laughs> Don't give a fuck. I'm trying to see if we can just keep a little light focused on it so your problems can get better. Do you have a sec? Would you like to say something? No. No? Okay, well, thank you. You have a wonderful day. Appreciate it. Did you have to track him? Uh, you can grab it. It's in my phone. Here, you want me to go, go grab it? Yeah, grab uh, it yeah. real quick, and that way I'll know. Uh, yeah. Hello, how are you? Good morning. Got everything confirmed? Yeah, I have everything confirmed. Good. I'm have to ask you to leave. Can't fill the causing disruptions to our customers. I thought you just said you have everything confirmed. Yeah, I'm confirming. I'm telling you, you can't film here. You cause, you cause a disruption with our water. What law is that? <clears throat> you cause a disruption, so. I'm not causing any disruption. I'm staying. I was actually, I was actually having a conversation, nice, friendly, I think, uh, cordial conversation with you, when one of your customers decided to start yelling across the lobby. You can't so, somebody else's reaction is not my disruption. I would, ha I would have to be directly you're, causing the you're disruption. Not, you're not going to leave. I'm going to call the police. It's up to you, sir. Okay. That's your option. One twelve. That's a good point you just brought up. There's cameras all over the place. We're being filmed constantly these days. Appreciate you saying that. And to the two postal employees behind the counter, I really appreciate your professionalism. You guys are very professional. I appreciate your uh, attitude. and Thank you. Yeah, the same hat, man. Loot crate? Well, yeah. Yeah, right on. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the, one of them ripped, and I bought another one. Yeah. There you go. Because you can buy it because you get the 
there's like a loot vault or whatever where the leftovers you can oh i got you cool yeah yeah, yeah yeah i like it so much yeah it's a cool hat I you can like, flip oh, it inside yeah, out yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 100%. I was like, oh, awesome. I'm so upset. And then I found it online. I was like, oh, cool. I can buy it. Nice. Right on. Awesome. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. And did you notice how every other customer was perfectly fine with yes. it? It was just that one gentleman that had a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Email that says so. so. how to deliver, you know what I mean? But then I know, I knew that, that other people were going to have a problem. Arriving, so I didn't know. With filming? Yeah, but what, what I yeah I and I don't understand what people's fear of a camera is. It's just a camera. Like, and I purposely bought an Olympus so that way it wouldn't say Canon on it. Maybe they just don't want to be photographed. Well, but then what you do is, is you approach somebody and you just ask nicely. We can always blur your face out. I can always edit you out of the video. But when somebody just starts yelling like a lunatic, then it's, you know. I missed that one. Yeah. No, he, uh, I was actually having a conversation with the postmaster about the legality of filming here inside the post office. And he just decided to start screaming at me across the lobby. You saw him. Yeah. Yeah, for no reason. Dang it. But it's okay. It's so hard, man. Like, I don't know what to say, man. Like. No, it's okay. And I don't want to put you on the spot either, man. <laughs> You're one of the good guys, Grayson. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> no, no, he's a Grayson. Grayson's a good man. You can tell. He's got a big smile on his face. He's a nice guy, and we appreciate him. And the same to you, man. We appreciate your allowing us to do what you know. What for? Well, I'm a journalist gathering content for a story. Just so you know, um, um, I'm freelance, so it could be picked up by anybody, um, and that's what we're doing. We're just, you know, we're on public property gathering matters of interest for the public. And the day that that is not allowed any longer will be a very sad day. Yeah, so thank you very much for understanding. Good luck. Thank you. Let's see if the postmaster is available. See if the police are actually coming, if we should wait for somebody or not. Definitely don't want to leave if they're on the way. Doesn't seem to be anybody home. He was here a minute ago. Maybe he's not answering. All right, so I guess we'll walk outside and wait around for a little while. See what happens. Oh, here we go. All right. So I'm just wondering, did you call the police? Should I wait for him? Or? Yeah. I okay. Yeah, no, I don't want to leave if they're on the way. Okay. I don't want them to have to look for me. I'll wait for them. I'll speak to them. And what was your name, sir? My name is Trevor Collins. Tre Trevor Collins, and you're the postmaster yeah, of this facility. Postmaster. You're the head postmaster here. Yes. Okay, well, when I was speaking to you, one gentleman in your lobby who was a customer decided to start yelling across the lobby, and that's what created your disturbance. Every other customer here was perfectly fine with me filming, including your employees. So, just to put that on the record, and you know that's the case. I don't We're not here. I'm a journalist gathering <coughs> content for a story. We're not here to cause you any problems. We have no ill intent. We have no ill will. Yeah, we didn't think to tell him. I, actually, I did actually you know, worry. Uh, you didn't want to tell me. Well, I get a little, you know what, and I apologize for that, but I do get a little testy when people tell me that I'm not allowed to do what I know. I'm allowed. I've been doing this for 30 years. so I'm, we, came, we came, had a conversation about it, and then you initially, you, know, to, you initially told me that I was okay to film. Yeah, we read the post of 72 together. Right. And the post of 72 does give you that right to film but once the dis disruptions happens in a lot of well but I can't be responsible for other people's actions you know what I mean I, I don't I, I'm not I don't know what actually happened I just heard you guys going back and forth okay because I walked away actually yeah once. no problem no problem and you seem like an upstanding gentleman I appreciate it. I know you're just trying to take care of your post office and do your job and we appreciate that and I'll make sure I uh, show you in a good light in the video Thank okay you. Thank no you. problem no we appreciate you man all right, all right? Yep. thank you very much and i'll wait around for the cops outside and we'll talk to them and get it straightened out okay okay sir yep. thank you very much you have a wonderful day sure. <laughs> 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 Let me get that for you, ma'am. Oh, sure. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Well, oh, thank you so much. One good turn deserves another, huh? <laughs> Have a great day, ma'am. Okay, so I guess we're just going to stand here for a little while and see if the uh, police actually even show up. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Are you a Montauk resident? I am. Are you? We're, I'm a journalist gathering content for a story. For what's 
the right uh, on the mail delivery situation with the Montauk Post Office. I'm just wondering yeah, if you might have a comment or no. Okay. I don't think I'll, I'll have anything you can print. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> have a great day. You we have contact, gentlemen, and we'll see what happens here. How are you today, sir? Good. I hope you didn't take my picture. Nope. I did not. Good response. Hey, how you doing? Good, how we doing, man? All right. Good. Good. You got a phone call about a yeah, you guys big, di big disturbance going on down at the okay. post office. Yeah, <laughs> Let me just go talk to them. On. Yeah, absolutely. I'll wait. That's why I'm waiting for you. I stayed. To, right. I, right. They told me you were coming, so I figured I'd hang out and wait for you. Yeah, no problem. Were okay. you inside? Or? I was inside. Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. What's going on, guys? How are you today? How you doing? Good. Yeah, let's go in and see what's happening. Yeah, well, no, he, uh... Thanks. Uh... Hello. I'm a journalist working on content for a story. Oh, cool. And uh, what the... F I'm sorry? What's the topic? Well, I can't give that away because it's not published yet, oh, so yeah. I can't okay. tip my hat. But uh, oh. what we did was, this is uh, poster seven which is the uh, post office rules. Mm -hmm. This is the section on photography. So when I first came in, I had a conversation with the postmaster, which is all on video. Uh, we went over this paragraph together and he decided that I was fine. You know, as the poster says, the videotape here inside the lobby and corridors and right. foyers and all that stuff. Um, all the customer, all the clients that were in here at the time, nobody had a problem with anything. The employees behind the counter had no problem. There was one gentleman who decided, I was standing here speaking with the postmaster. Okay. And one gentleman who was in line on the other side there decided to start yelling across the lobby because he didn't want to be filmed. And it's, right. well, I guess that was his. Sometimes when you're a photographer, and well, but that was his disturbance. You know, I didn't. Okay. Yeah. So well, we're, we're just standing here quietly if filming. This is the official uh, postal rules. That's it. Poster seven. Maybe taking the entrance, entrance lobbies. All right. Well, you guys aren't interfering with the customers. No, not at all. Sure. Absolutely. And like I said, I had a conversation with the postmaster and got permission from him to do what we're doing. Okay. So. How You just said it. You just said something huge, man. And our, our rights in this country are being eroded daily. And if we don't stand up for them, they're going to disappear. You know, I went into a dentist's office once when I was younger, and he had a sign up on the wall that said, ignore your teeth and they'll go away. So we don't want to ignore our rights. We need to exercise them. So the uh, officers are inside the postmaster's office right here, speaking with him. Uh, would you be willing to answer a couple of questions about your mail service delivery? Sure. Uh, we hear there's been some issues with some missing mail and delayed mail and that kind of thing. Have you been experiencing no. any of that or everything's fine for you? Or? I mean, you know, no. no. I haven't had any problems with that at all. That's good. Good yeah. deal. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. We yeah. appreciate you taking the time. Yeah. Have a great day. All right, we're going to get going. Um, okay. Yeah, like you said, you have the right to what it says on there. Just, we just if the customer doesn't want to interact and... Oh sure, we, we weren't. Yeah, we're not. Even. Sweet. What? What? Uh, what company? What, well, this is an Olympus. I'm saying that one's pretty cool. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, that's a uh, Transcend. Okay. Yeah. So I learned your way. Almost something. And I, and I actually nice. bought. I bought an Olympus specifically so it wouldn't say Canon across the front. I didn't want to scare anybody. How much <laughs> that thing go for? Uh, this was about four hundred. Really? Yeah. Cool. yeah. My camera okay. was seven hundred. Have a good day. Right, you so too. Thank you guys. Hey, uh, pre what was your name and badge number? One nine three. One nine three. Thank you my, very much, Mr. Tierney. And you? Two three seven. Two three seven. Two, three, seven. Thank you, Mr. Hughes. Have a good day. Take care. Mr. Grayson, I just want to thank you again for your professionalism, oh, sir. You're going to go far in life with that attitude. You. I really appreciate it. You're doing a wonderful job, and thank Montauk's lucky to have you, sir. Thank you, Mr. All righty. Always. Take always care. Lovely. You have a good day. Just so you know, we, the police came and verified that we are legal to be doing yeah, what we're yeah, doing, yeah. sir. For sure. And we, I know. We might have to get you a camera, Grayson, when, hey, you're, off, when, when you're not working, man. Give me a camera. See, you yeah. just can't help being a good guy. Yes. That's what it is. It's, it's Your mama did something right. Yeah. There you yeah. go. <laughs>
All right, guys, you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your time off. Thank you very much. Hey, there he is. So I didn't want to leave without thanking you for your assistance, man. I just want to find out if you got educated today, if you now understand what the rules are, what the laws are. Okay, good. That's good. That's what we do. Okay. okay, that's what my job is. My job is I go to post offices. I check to make sure that you have your poster seven displayed properly, which you're required to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we just see how the post office reacts to oh. your regulations and filming on postal property, which is, as you now know, completely 100% legal and allowed by your own regulations. So I just want to thank you, let you know we appreciate the work that you do. Wasn't looking to give you a hard time at all. Okay. Uh, you definitely had the right to call the police. We spoke to them, uh, got the whole thing straightened out. And we just want to let you know we do, we're not trying to give you a hard time. We appreciate you. We appreciate the good work that you do. You have, keep a nice post office here and we wish you the best of luck going forward, sir. All right, thanks again. All right, thank you, man. You have a wonderful day. You too. Take care. And that's how it goes, folks. There goes the uh, officer leaving and I would have to call that a fail, which was almost a pass for the Montauk Post Office. Um, I would only call it a fail because they actually went ahead and called the police department. Um, it was almost a pass because the postmaster initially gave us permission to do what we were doing, uh, but we got it all straightened out. Um, I definitely give East Hampton Town Police a pass. Um, those two officers were very professional, very courteous, and uh, did the right thing. From the Montauk Post Office in Montauk, New York, guys, this is Amagansett Press, out.